teacher Marm from Four Crochet Patterns. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a single crochet. Now, this is going to be part of my How to Crochet for Beginners uh, YouTube series. Um, so I will be sure to link the um, videos I've done so far um, down below. And so let's get started. All right, so the supplies I'm going to be using today are We Crochet Fable Fur in color um, Vulp, I think it is, V-O-L-P-E, and Premier uh, Basics in the color uh, Cream. And uh, whatever yarn you're using is totally fine. This is just what I'm using. And whatever yarn you're using, you're just going to want to use the Corley hook size. So I'm going to use a 6 millimeter crochet hook and a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And so to begin, I'm going to make a chain using this basic yarn. Then I'm going to do a chain, uh, single crochet, excuse me, single crochet using this basic yarn. Then I'm going to use, make a single crochet using this yarn and faux fur. And then I'm just going to do faux fur. So just to kind of show you um, the differences between the two. All right, so I got the yarn, and now what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot and chain. Now, in my last video, which was last week, I showed you how to make um, a slip knot and chain, but I will show you once again how to do this in today's video. So what you do is you put the yarn at the base of your finger, and then you're just going to take the working strand, and you're going to wrap it around your finger like this twice, so wrap it around and then wrap it around again. Then you're going to take the back loop, bring it up and over and to the front, and then you're going to take the new back loop, which is this one, and bring it up and over and down and off your uh, finger. Then you're just going to tighten using not the, not the short strand, the long strand. You're just going to tighten, and then you're going to insert your hook into there and then you're just going to chain however many of you need to chain. So to make a chain, you're just going to yarn over and pull through. And you're going to just do that however many times you need to do it. So yarn over and pull through and bring it a little closer. Yarn over, pull through. And I am going to just make a few more chains just for an example. Um, okay, so like that. And now I'm going to show you how to make a single crochet across each chain. So what you do is you have your loop on your hook that does not count as a chain. And you can see the first chain is right there. I hope you guys can see that. It's right there. My finger is holding on it and pulling it apart. So this is the loop on the hook. And this is the um, chain right there. And you're going to skip the first chain and you're going to go into the second chain from hook. So there's the first chain. They're like V's. So if you look at them as they, if they are V's, that will help you probably. So you're going to skip the first V chain and you're going to go into the second one. You're just going to insert into the top loop. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through. Then yarn over, pull through all two loops. So I'll show you how to do that again. So into the next chain now. So right here, there's kind of a big hole where I just did my first single crochet. You're not going to go into there, and you're just going to go into the next stitch, which is in the next, the next like V. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through both of those loops. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm just going to do that real quick for the remaining um, stitches that I have. And then I'm going to show you how it looks for row number two. So I'm just going to do the rest of them as single crochets. Okay. I just finished row one and now I'm going to just chain one and turn and what you're going to do is you're going to look so the chain one is not 
Some patterns will count this, the chain as a stitch, and then they and then you would just skip the first single crochet and go into the next one and count this chain as a single crochet. And some patterns don't count the chain as a single crochet. My patterns do not count the chain as a single crochet, but um, that just depends on the crochet pattern designer. Okay, so I'm going to say that we're gonna work into the first stitch, so the chain doesn't count as a stitch, but if it does, you're just gonna work into the next stitch. It's the exact same principle. So I hope you guys can see this, but there's a hole right there. And you're just going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So the exact same thing, all you're doing is you're going into um, the V, so at the top of the stitch. So if you look, you'll see there's the front loop that's facing towards me, and then there's the back loop. And you're going to work into both of those loops. Now in some patterns, um, these are probably more advanced patterns than you will do in the first, but the front loop, sometimes it will say FLO or front loop only or BLO or back loop only. Um, and then you'll just um, do whatever stitch you're doing into the front loop or into the back loop. But all you're gonna do is you're just going to insert into the base right there Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, all two loops. So you're just going to repeat that for whatever pattern you're following. And so just insert right there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now I'm gonna show you real quick how to do um, the single crochet, uh, the non-fuzzy yarn with the fuzzy yarn. And then I'll show you how to do the fuzzy yarn just alone. I mean, just take it out, and all you do to take it out if you goofed up is you just pull on the working strand of yarn and it'll come undone. Okay, so now I'm going to take this yarn, I'm gonna grab my 10 millimeter hook, take this yarn, and then I'm gonna grab this yarn. And I'm going to make a slip knot. And to do that, all you're going to do is, once again, you're just going to wrap it around your finger twice. Take the, we're going to call these two loops. Yes, they are two different loops, or two different yarns, but we're going to count them as one yarn. So um, if you're following a pattern ever that's just like two regular strands or two strands of faux fur, that's all you do. You just count the two, stra two strands of yarn as one strand for a pattern normally, at least. I've never come across a pattern where you count them as different. So, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the back loop, bring it up and over, and then I'm going to just scoot that one back so you can see it. And then I'm gonna take the new back loop, bring it all the way over and down, and I'm gonna tighten my yarn. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make a chain. To do that, you're just getting yarn over, and pull through, and once again I showed you how to do this in last week's video, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and you can see, hopefully you can see, it's hard to see on, especially in, probably on video, but you can see that there's these V's, and you can kind of feel them, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, now I'm going to show you how to, once again, do single crochets going back. So you're just going to yarn or insert into your loop on your hook, doesn't count as a stitch. You're going to skip the first chain, and then you're going to insert into the next chain. And you are going to, once again, look for that V. So you can kind of see that white V. And you're just going to insert into the top loop of that. And you're going to yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two, all two loops on your hook. Now you're just going to do that into the next stitches. So you can see with my white yarn, there's a V. You're going to go into the stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all two loops. 
and you're just going to do that for the rest of the row and then I'll come back and show you how to do that for row two. All right, I just finished row one and you'll know that because you'll feel kind of a knot and you'll know that that was the last V that you um, that is possible to work in. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for round two, I'm going to bring this a little closer. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope you can. But um, you can see that there's a V right there. And here's the front loop or loops. And here's the back loop or loops. And um, all you're going to do is you're going to work into both of those loops. And as I had said before, if you're working in a pattern that says FLO or BLO, that's front loop only and back loop only. So all you're gonna do is just yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, or insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to continue um, that for row two. So. You can kind of feel that there's like a big hole there and that's where you're going to work but you can also then look at the top and um, find it there and I think that if you're beginning it probably would be a helpful thing to have a second uh, strand to just to kind of help you see it and, and I would probably recommend using a different color because at least if you're not doing, if you're not going to, if this is not like a final work, but it just kind of is a good practice, then you could do something like my patterns with faux fur yarn or anybody else's patterns with faux fur yarn or even fuzzy yarn like this Premier Parfait Chunky and um, you would be good to go. Okay, so that is how you do it with two strands or yeah, two strands of different yarn. Let me take out the yarn real quick, or take out, yeah, take out my work huh? real quick, and then I'll just show you how to do with just faux fur yarn. And, okay, so to do that, all you're going to do, or just do faux fur yarn, you're going to make a slip knot, once again, wrap it around your finger twice, take the back loop, bring it to the front, take the new back loop, bring it up and over and down, and then tighten, then you're going to chain however many your pattern says. So all you do, once again, is yarn over, pull through. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use your fingers. I personally, I know it's probably different for most people, but I use my two uh, middle fingers and then my thumb to hold my chain down or hold my slip knot down. So I kind of hold it with those fingers and then a yarn over pull through. I hope that makes sense. And now for row one, all you're gonna do is you're gonna feel, you can feel there's like kind of a bit of a bigger hole between the, uh, the chains, so, or in the chain. So if you feel where the hole is, you'll be able to know, okay, that's where I go. So loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. You can skip your first chain and you're going to go into the second chain and you can kind of just feel it. And it, I would show you it, but it's kind of hard to see. There's the V. You can kind of feel there's one way and another way. You're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all two loops. And you're going to, you're not going to go in that same big hole. You're going to go into the next chain and you're going to feel for it. Yarn over, pull through, and then you have two loops on your hook, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through all that. And I'm just going to do the last two stitches of row one. And now I'm going to chain one and turn. And for row number two, that's all you're going to do again. You're just going to work into the um, stitches. Um, one thing I would recommend if you're using faux fur yarns or any kind of fuzzy yarn that's hard to see your stitches, well, my recommendation would be that the first time you use it, at least, or the first few times, you use a bigger hook. Even if you're just practicing, a bigger hook will help you be able to feel these stitches easier. I know that when I've used a smaller hook before, it is harder to 
um, feel these stitches. And um, when you're starting out, you just want everything to be as easy as possible. So that would be my recommendation. Okay, so I chain one, turn, and you're just going to feel for the holes in your stitches. So you can see that my finger is popping through there. That's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to insert, yarn or pull through, yarn or pull through two. Then you can feel there's another hole, and there's kind of like bumps between them, so you know that that's the only spot you could go. And you're just going to continue that for however many rows or whatever you're making. And yeah. Thank you so much for making these uh, single crochets along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video on Fridays and I'd love to see you there.